Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so this one might be a short video. I'm not sure what I said in my last video. Well, I'm not sure if it's going to be my last video, but um, uh, the uh, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, the first box I got in with this uh, Benefit 24-hour brow setter, and I said I wanted to do a first impressions on this, so even though it's probably going to be a short video, I still wanted to do it because I told you all I would. So, yeah. And if you couldn't tell, I've already done my makeup and I did my brows. And for the sake of this video, uh, of course, and for the sake of this video, I, of course, used basically all Benefit brow products. I use the Benefit Bravo Conditioning Primer. I love this stuff. I use it every day anyways. Doesn't matter what brow product I'm using. Um, and then I use the sample. I have this Goof Proof Brow Pencil, also by Benefit. And I, <laughs> I think I said this in one of my last videos. I'm not sure which one it was, but I just uploaded it last night, so you'll be seeing it soon. Um, I kind of, I think it was probably the 21 Days of Beauty, um, that video where I got that product in, but, uh, I kind of hate the fact that I prefer higher end brows on my skin tone because, uh, so far all I have found in the drugstore brows has been cooler toned shades. Of course, I need to try NYX again because, uh, in my, one of my last videos, uh, Tasia Melody said that she felt like the NYX one was warmer because it didn't look good on her cool on her skin tone, which is cool tone, she said. So maybe I should try that one again. When I tried it, I didn't pay attention. I remember liking it, I think. So maybe I should try it again. But yeah, I don't really like cool tone eyebrows on me. It makes me look too bold or washes me. I don't know what it is, but because normally I've been using this L'Oreal. And I like the way it does. I like the formula. I do not like the fact that it looks almost black on me. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just trying to finish it now. but And so I can try others. Alright, so I guess I'll just go ahead and get started with this. Uh, it's a 24-hour brow setter. Uh, here's the box. And it says, get set for budget-proof budge, budget, budge brows. This invisible shaping and setting gel... This invisible shaping and second gel holds brow hairs in place and locks on, locks on makeup so brows don't pull a, disappear, pull a disappearing act. And then brush on the brows, wear a long or set, set other brow products. And 24 hour staying power, flexible flake free formula, easy to apply, quick to dry. And apparently it's supposed to last 24 hours. I mean, I'm not going to wear mine 24 hours, but I guess at the end of today, I'll see how it goes. And I'll try to come back after I'm completely done getting ready. Of course, actually, I don't really have to do that today. And it looks, the brush head's supposed to look like that. I'm not sure if I'm even showing you, but it's supposed to look a little bit like the, uh, the, my, the Roller Lash Mascara one. Thank you. you. Then it says 100% second controlled brow hairs. Okay. All right. Uh -oh. Alright, let's just get started with this. Because normally I've just been using a tinted brow gel. I've been using this one. I've had it for a while. I bought it on one of the 21 Days, 21 Days of Beauty a couple years ago. The Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel. And I like it. Of course, I've just been trying to use it up. So, Because I've got a ton of stuff, y'all. Of course, y'all feel me. Y'all know. Okay. Let's see. Alright, here's the head. It's got those little, instead of having a spoolie, it's got like little spikes. Okay, here goes nothing. Let me see if I can move y'all over so y'all can see what I'm doing. Alright, and I usually star at the back of my brow. Of course, but that's usually when I'm doing a tinted, but you know, whatever. This brush head grabs every little hair. Wow. Neat. And apparently you can kind of put it sideways where there are no spoolie and put the gel there and then kind of brush it through, apparently. That's cool. Okay. 
Have any has anybody tried any of the Benefit brow products? If you have, let me know down below. I've really been wanting to try them. Uh, so far, first impressions, I think I like the yeah, little brush head on this. I like how it grabs a hold of every single hair. And it's kind of small, so it fits into the crevices of your brows. Especially if you're like me, you don't really have thick brows anyway. You just kind of, well, you have them, but, you know. Hmm, Okay. What do we think? I think it did pretty good. They definitely feel like they're not going anywhere. They don't feel like stiff, but they definitely feel like there's there's something holding them there. So, okay. That's kind of awesome. And like I said, I did use the Benefit Gift Proof Brow Pencil, so. I've really been liking it. I put it down for a couple of days because I was trying to, I'm trying to use my L'Oreal uh, Brow Stylist Definer. Is that what this is called? Brow stylist shape and feel. So, even though I like that one, it's just cooler tone, and this is a warmer tone, so it looks more natural on I me. Mean, and y'all know, I'll do, I dig a uh, more natural brow. Of course, more power to you if you like a bolder brow. It just doesn't look good on me. I guess because I don't really wear bold looks that much. I, I don't know. Or maybe it's because my face is smaller. I don't know what it is. I just don't prefer it. So, okay. Well, I, like I said, I know this was going to be a short-lived video, but I just wanted to p try that on on camera like I said I would the other day when I filmed that video. So, yeah. Um, I'll come back at the end of the day if I have time to let y'all know how it worked and if it's still on and whatever. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, I guess I'm going to go finish getting ready. And I guess I will talk to you guys later. And if I don't get to come back due to for any reason, then y'all know I will put it at the in the description box or somewhere where how I feel about it and how it did after several hours. I won't wear it for probably 24 hours, but I'll definitely test it out for a good day at least. So, all right. I guess I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.